Well, it is the height of summer, and Athens Airport is dead. So this time we are flying from Athens to London, and we want to show you quickly what it's like in a post-COVID environment. We managed to get to Greece just after lockdown was released and uh, flights resumed to Greece. We arrived on Saturday the 18th of July. We've been here for a week and now it's time to come back to London. And of course, the first thing you notice is mandatory to wear masks around the airport. I mean, the airport is extremely quiet, very few people around. And uh, the whole process has been very straightforward from getting through. We've only got hand luggage, so we've gone straight through. Security, EU passport control was fine. There was nobody there whatsoever. So limited services within the duty free. You could get a few bits and pieces. Um, and then you get into the lounge areas. There is a lounge open and available to use as well. And then there's a WH Smith's and a uh, coffee shop there's, that are open. And there are a few flights going to various places this evening. One to Manchester, British Airways going to London Heathrow. And of course, we'll be going to Luton shortly once Wizz Air turns up. So we're just waiting to board the aircraft. It's a little bit late coming in from London, but uh, we're just waiting for the gate number to be announced and then we'll make our way. But it's very quiet here. Not too many people around and all the social distancing things that need to be done as you as you would expect. So I had to switch to a different mask. The uh, other one I was using is really pulling on my ear. This one's not quite so bad. And that's one of the problems with having to wear a mask in the airport. It does get quite hot. It does hurt your ears. We've got three and a half hours of this. Getting back to Luton. <laughs> So we're heading down onto the aircraft now and uh, everyone's got to keep their distance as they board so this boarding time will take longer. We're already a little bit delayed and uh, they're just finishing up cleaning the aircraft so we're going to have to wait in the jetty I think before we can get on board. Whilst the airlines say they disinfect the aircraft every 24 hours, we took wet wipes to wipe down the seats as an extra precaution. The social distancing seemed to go out the window at boarding. Our outbound flight was a completely full aircraft, but this time the plane was less than half full. We were really lucky that we didn't have anybody in the rows around us. over Athens as we took off were pretty special. We'll be publishing a travel guide to Athens in the coming weeks so make sure you subscribe to our channel so you don't miss that. So flight time to London tonight is about four hours and five minutes. We took off about 45 minutes late and uh, for some reason the captain held us in the in the seats with the uh, seatbelt sign on until we got into the cruise um, but now he has released that and uh, oh, people can move around but of course you've still got to keep your masks on so we are on a Wizz Air A321 uh, we're in row one uh, seats 1A and B so there's a bulkhead Unlike British Airways, Wizz Air have a sort of half perspex um, bulkhead so that you can then see in front of you, which is kind of nice actually. I personally prefer that. Leg room wise, pretty good at the front. You can see I'm six foot tall. I have loads of knee room and yeah, leg room is pretty nice. Tray tables are in the arms, so the arms don't actually go up in these seats. And being with a narrow climb. 
but the seats themselves are comfortable enough. So one of the only differences that you'll notice when traveling on Wiz during COVID-19 times, uh, there's no in-flight magazine or menus. So they announce over the time like, uh, what food and drink options they've got. No prices though, so when they wheel down the trolley, you just have to chat to the group members and kind of uh, work out what you want and how much it's going to cost you. They do take pounds and euros, but they encourage you to uh, use their credit card and what time is paid. We are off the flight, landed back at London Luton and to be honest it's not a lot of difference to an ordinary flight so hopefully that gave you some tips on how to fly over the next few months as ever fly safe. We'll see you next time on the Memory Seekers. Remember to like and subscribe to our channel and check out our other videos. We'll be doing our video of Greece in the coming weeks. But until next time, happy travels. Bye-bye.